are tracking the ongoing situation at the Caesars downtown, uh, Caesars Palace on the Strip. We do know that a man has taken a woman in the hostage. Right now we have Fox 5's Danny Mastin as well as Fox 5's Shana Kalafi out there right now to give us the latest. But first, we're going to take it to Fox 5's Danny Mastin with what police are saying. And Danny, what are you hearing? Hey, Kerika, this situation is ongoing right now. To give you an idea of where I'm at, I'm at the corner of Jay Sarno and Frank Sinatra, where Metro just provided the, the media with some information about this incident. And this is what we know uh, right now and what we have learned. Metro received info from security about a disturbance between a male and female. The disturbance ended up with the male forcibly pulling the female into a room who is now being held hostage. Officers responded and there was talks of weapons being involved and is when the SWAT team was brought in. We have been told the female in the room has been heard from and is okay and negotiators are speaking with the male. It is unknown at this time if the woman is in a relationship with the man and the floor where this is all taking place is on lockdown. Uh, there were a few items when the glass was broken that were thrown into the pool area and that might have been some of the mistaken reports of gunfire. Now, traffic has not been affected on Las Vegas Boulevard. Uh, Metro officers and the SWAT team remains on scene here at Caesars Palace Hotel. As soon as we get more information on this incident, we will be sure to bring you those updates. For now, I'll send it back to you in studio. All right, Danny, thank you so much. Now we're going to send it over to Shana Kalavi, who's been speaking with witnesses who saw some of these events happen. And Shana, what are you hearing? Yeah, and Karika, we saw a lot of people coming out wearing swimsuits who were evacuated from the pool area a few hours ago. Now, we actually can see the room where this is all happening from our viewpoint. We've been here for about two hours now, and about an hour ago, we saw the man, the suspect inside of that room, pulling the curtain to the side. He seemed to be yelling out of the window. We could hear him all the way from here. We even saw him throwing an object out of the window. We're not sure exactly what it was. We did hear from witnesses who saw him earlier. They say that he threw a lamp, also a chair. Uh, we've heard a trash can was also thrown out of the window. And again, police are still in a standoff with this man who has taken a woman hostage inside of that room. We have video, as you can see, of objects being thrown from the window just about an hour ago. Police first responded here around 9.15 this morning and the standoff still going hours later. And we will continue to bring you updates as we learn more about this ongoing situation. We also heard that the Palace Tower, uh, where this room is located, was not actually formally evacuated. According to the guests we talked to, they say that the elevators are just shut down right now for people trying to get back up to their rooms. Uh, when we checked in with them about an hour ago, they said there was no announcement or anything for the uh, guests inside of this hotel, but for the ones in the palace tower uh, it's hard to avoid what's going on there so uh, updates still coming in from police and we want to uh, give you a, a sound bite now from those guests that we spoke to we were headed straight to the pool area and then we noticed a bunch a whole big group of people coming out and as soon as people started yelling we noticed like oh something's happening we ran straight up to our room because we have a perfect view of the pool and as soon as we got up there, we saw him throwing stuff out of the window. What did you see him throwing? Uh, he threw a lampshade, um, a cushion, uh, a piece of wood. Like, he was just going crazy. And those guests also say that they heard a lot of commotion uh, from their room, which was very close to the room where this is all happening. They also said they heard a loud sound that at the time they believed was a gunshot. We now know that police have confirmed no shots have been fired. But again, one man and one woman is still in that room. The woman taken hostage this afternoon. We'll bring you updates as we get more. I'll send it back to you. All right, Shauna, thank you so much. And of course, stay with Fox 5 News for continuing team coverage of the standoff at Caesars Palace. We'll update you with the latest developments as we get them.